More news we're tracking out of Warwick tonight. The city council is debating the future of the city's high schools. I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Chelsea Jones. They're considering a resolution that asked the General Assembly to put a question on the ballot in November, asking voters to approve a bond to replace the city's two high schools, Pilgrim and Tollgate. The schools are about a half a century old, and the price tag to replace them is estimated to be $350 million. 12 News reporter Amanda Pitts joins us now live from City Hall in Warwick with how both sides are reacting tonight. Amanda? Well, Mike, Chelsea, it's 1030 and city councilors are still up there discussing this. And this issue has been a topic of discussion here in Warwick for about three years now. Those for it say students deserve better schools. Those against it say taxpayers shouldn't be burdened with the cost. It's almost like build one high school and get one free. I mean, what a deal is that? It's a deal the city of Warwick can't pass up, is what the superintendent says, as the Warwick City Council discussed for hours Monday night a resolution that would put a question on the November ballot whether or not the city should replace Pilgrim and Tollgate High Schools. They're at the end of their usefulness. We are putting band aids just to keep them open. Um, if we don't do it now, I don't know when we're going to do it. The Rhode Island Department of Education would reimburse about half of the $350 million price tag, but only if the city acts now. You know, we're looking at between 50 and 52 and a half percent reimbursement rate from Ride, which is very high for Warwick because our base rate is 35 percent. We shouldn't be strong armed by Ride to say we've got to do this today. Residents against building new schools say taxpayers can't afford to put up the rest. And it's still unclear exactly how much taxpayers would have to front. And they argued, why can't the old schools be upgraded? There is no reason to think that a new building is going, or new technology cannot be done to an old building. But district leaders say it'll cost about the same to fix the schools that are 50 and 60 years old. And this is an opportunity the city can't lose out on. It would cost as much, if not more, to renovate to bring where we need to be as opposed to building the new schools. Ultimately, let the voters decide. That's who should decide. Now, if the city council approves this, it will head to the General Assembly, and they will decide whether or not it makes it on the ballot in November. Now, if all is approved, the groundbreaking for these schools could happen as soon as next fall, 2023. Live in Warwick tonight, Amanda Pitts, 12 News.